here today to discuss yoga, religion, and spirituality, and how our Yoga Fit uh, group here has been able to merge their spiritual practice, their religious beliefs, with Yoga Fit and make it all work. So I'd like to just open it up today to anyone who would like to share um, their journey with religion, spirituality, and Yoga Fit. Who would like to get started? Uh, I was raised Catholic. Um, Probably about the age of 13, it wasn't really sitting right with me, and um, I went on a journey um, with a bunch of different religions, and uh, uh, I think Yoga Fit has helped me kind of find my spirituality, and just kind of helped me appreciate all religions and see that we are all on the same journey. I was uh, on several generations raised in Michigan, a uh, strong Protestant uh, religious background, but then... Uh, moved overseas for most of my life. I was raised in Central and South America, where it's 99% Catholic. And so I changed to Catholicism. And um, I'm an astrologer with a degree in therapy. I was forced at a really young age to um, stretch my mind in ways that a lot of people don't have to be stretched. And um, yoga allows for this openness, knowing it's, that allows for more than just, just allows a belief system to grow without words, or with words, but it's like it's a feeling, so I have to say that uh, it's, another, it's another openness that I need in order to just feel good about who I am, because it's really hard sometimes so I'm trying to explain to people all the um, different ways I've seen people grow, I've seen, my, I've seen different cultures grow, etc., and to ex be accepting, and yoga just seems to embrace all of that acceptance. My family was Catholic, but, you know, mom was very open. I think her religion was truly just love, and um, I dabbled in um, Bapti uh, yeah, Baptist, not really Southern Baptist, but Baptist. And that opened me up a little to uh, more of giving thanks in terms of prayer and things of that nature. Um, I think I've always been very spiritual and um, drawn to the spirit. And um, I think that learning more about um, religion and different kinds of religion has helped me to have a better understanding of just how to live in this world and um, yoga in terms of union and trying to like unite with everyone, um, learning what we're learning um, in the training, especially teaching more about compassion and um, loving with your heart and dealing with others with your heart and maybe with yourself a little more with your head. Um. I am actually a Sunday school teacher for a, a Bible-based church that uh, is, is pretty conservative. and I think that uh, yoga kind of blends really nicely with it when you look at the deeper philosophies, the yamas, the niyamas, are kind of like the golden rule of what we teach to the children, you know. Um, be kind to others, don't lie, don't steal. But, um, you know, I think they kind, of, they kind of blend well together. I've not really had anyone say anything to me that um, you shouldn't be doing this. It's kind of, um, you know, weird and esoterical. You know, it's, they, everyone's been very... Um, accepting and I think because it's especially with the yoga fit community it's not so you know kind of out there it's very much um, accepting of everyone so I think uh, that they both kind of can mesh very nicely together have you had any conflicts at all between your yoga studies and your formal religion once, just once, and it was someone who really didn't understand. They were asking me about the chanting. You know, this was kind of before I really became into, you know, got into yoga fit. And I was kind of, I didn't know. And as I kind of ended up, you know, I'm retraining level four now, and we talk a lot about uh, the Sanskrit and the chanting. I don't think it would be something that would um, go against anything that I believe in, so. And actually, funny thing, my minister is actually into yoga and wants me to come over and teach him yoga, so. <laughs> so much for that. <laughs> I think as the more I delve into it, the less conflict I see. Okay. I think initially when you say, hmm, but, you know, I also believe in, like, look it up, research it. Don't just take anything on its face value. 
you know, go in and really dig deep. So, um, we talked a little bit yesterday about the history of yoga and and, and where it started and origins and all that stuff. And we got back to like the tantric revolution, and I love that because what part of what I didn't like about um, organized religion was that I'm a very self um, motivated person and when someone tells me something I tend to try to do the opposite and so um, the essence of the tantric revolution how I understand it right now is that you, you were able to learn that you had a light inside of you that that is you know God and, and what other people are seeking and that um, the people were now able to learn on their own and they didn't have to rely on someone else to interpret it for them so they could look things up and they could you know find their own meanings for things that's really powerful for me. I'm a Muslim. I came here about 11 years ago and I got into yoga. I've always been into the fitness, uh, like to work out and stuff. And then I wanted to kind of, I felt, um, I got into yoga just about three or four years ago. And to become a yoga instructor was about two years ago when I took my first yoga fit training. Um, it has been a very interesting uh, journey and it's ongoing. Um, yoga is all about tolerance of uh, all faiths. It's all about all religions coming together and it's all one. No matter who your God is, who you worship, who you believe in, whatever your faith is, we're all one. The Sanskrit part of it, the chanting and yoga not being a religion, just a way of life, just about bringing the goodness and looking out for the goodness, loving and forgiving and all of that. And that's what all religions are about. That's what they teach in their different languages. And yoga just brings it together. What I love about Yoga Fit is it just breaks it down even further for all of us, for the general, um, the Americans, for the non-Americans, for everybody. It's in layman's language for all of us because yoga can be very intimidating for all of us when we kind of come to our first class. I teach at a kickboxing gym where people are trying yoga for the first time and they're actually switching memberships to yoga studios just because they want to take it further. They never knew yoga was more about the whole mind-body connection in a literal sense. It takes you beyond the physical to the mental and its well-being for the full, for the full body. It's been a beautiful journey and it's still ongoing and I'm loving every bit of it. We are practice Diksha. Diksha is um, basically what we do is we were initiated by monks to give energy, like to channel it, and we were uh, and, and it basically brings a person to an experience, life, rather than existing. Most people are existing, meaning that they're not actually connecting with life, that they're, own, they're thinking about other things while they're going about their daily routine, they're doing things in a mechanical nature because they do the same thing over and over again in the same way and it becomes like a machine and this is to experience life meaning that you feel everything in a different way and it also brings the kundalini up and things like that. My spirituality has always been a source of uh, interest in, for me and um, I, there's a book by Elizabeth Clare Prophet called The Lost Years of Jesus. I was raised in Christianity, and one of the things that they postulate about that is that he traveled in that time to the Far East and perhaps became acquainted with other uh, uh, faiths and maybe practiced yoga himself. And I kind of like that idea. It reconciles the Eastern and the Western philosophies quite nicely for me. And... Um, so, yeah, I had the Catholic upbringing, but now uh, I've been able to merge the Eastern and Western sides of myself really well. Have you had any conflicts fit. in your own spiritual practice with yoga? No, I actually haven't. It came really nicely together. I thought it fit really well together. So, uh, personally, I haven't had uh, any conflict with bringing that in. Thank you. You're welcome. I was raised in a Catholic environment, and I'm still a practicing Catholic. Um, I raised my children Catholic, and I truly believe in it. For a while, I was having a hard time with the church because of all the problems going on with the priests and all of the abuse. And I found myself getting away from the Catholic church. And I was kind of torn. But Yoga Fit, since I've been practicing Yoga Fit, has made me less judgmental about the church. I actually sent a letter to one of the pastors saying all the things that I disliked about the church. And I never got a response. But it, 
with Yoga Fit, it kind of opened my mind and made me realize that I don't need a priest to give me the okay to go to the Catholic Church. I'm not, I don't need that. It comes from within. Religion really comes from within. So I go to church now knowing that I'm getting more out of it just by having an open mind and not judging and not focusing on the negative, but focusing on the positive things that I believe in. So that's how Yoga Fit has helped me. Thank you. Thank you so Thank you. much. Thank you. And I was not brought up in any particular religion. However, when I was 14, I started doing Zen meditation. Somebody guided me in doing Zen meditation. And later on, I started reading the Bible and going to Protestant worship. And I chose to become baptized Catholic as an adult. Yoga Fit, I'm really impressed with the way Yoga Fit it introduces the Yamas and Niyamas. And also the essence of Yoga Fit. That, that I think is essential with any spiritual practice. So that's really all I have to say. Thank you.